Hey guys, a long time no chat, but I wanted to come on here and tell you more of what I've had to integrate. Now, if you're new to my channel, welcome. Um, I'm changing things up a lot. You guys know this. I'm, I'm a regenerate sacred feminine. That's actually the truth of what sacred feminine energies are about. We're able to regenerate, purify, take the energies through our empathic system, regenerate it, and uh, transmute it into light. It's a power that I teach women how to do. So if you are new, welcome to my channel. Take a look around. I'm going to be doing tarot differently. I've had to integrate a lot. I've done um, recent parasite cleanse, fasting, getting my temple really in alignment with the high vibration that I bring down. Uh, that's manifestation, that's integration. And this is something that I'm teaching a lot of sacred feminines, especially some of my new clients that have booked me. I have some long-term coaching and how to come into the sacred energy. And I want to talk more about what twin flame energy truly is about. Okay. And I've had a lot of awakening with this integration into my temple, um, recognizing when I cleansed the parasites out of me. I'll do a separate video about that because that's going to be part of retreats and things that I will be eventually running are um, how to completely align your temple to your highest Akashic, your highest soul purpose at this time, and how to defeat darker, denser energies in a really potent way or in a really real way because I've done it. I'm a wounded healer. I've done the walk. I've, I do the talk. I've been doing this for my whole life. I didn't have an awakening. I was born awake. Um, I've known I was born speaking to the other side and having a really detailed psychic intuition. I don't always say what my intuitions are. I just let things play out. But um, yeah, let's get into it because I want to talk more about twin flame and yin yang energy. Now, the first thing I'm going to bring up, this is going to, I want you to take a deep breath. I want you to channel the energy through you, clear your mind of any belief systems you have. There's a lot of dogma that's going on. And I'm telling you, um, a twin flame is not a person. Twin flame is the Christ consciousness, the highest consciousness, the Buddha consciousness, the consciousness of divine love, of union, of the one creator, the masculine and the feminine energies. And so if you are attached to a person being your twin, I'm going to tell you that that is a physical attachment of why you are suffering, okay? Because the physical attachment to anybody, person, place, or thing is going to allow darker entities to siphon you. We are here, especially sacred feminines, to transcend that 3D realm, right? We're here to, uh, we're the portal. You're, I just wrote an article about the yoni, okay? Your yoni is the portal to God. And you don't open that up to just anybody, all right? And God gifted biological women the portal to access those higher realms through her temple. When you pull that in your empathic system, you regenerate that energy into physical manifestation. Now, if her temple is not in alignment, you're not only going to get pieces of it because it's going to be fragmented. Your temple will be fragmented. Your codes um, in your chakras or your DNA is trying to run energy through your system. It's going, it's not, you're not going to get the whole picture. You've got to come into a real sacred alignment of your temple and your higher self. Okay. So twin flame is not a person. Twin flame is an energy that is given to you as an opportunity with an individual who has been seeking the same law of attraction, right? Manifestation. And in that, thank you. We're going to just clear energy. Please clear Father, Mother, God. Thank you, Creator. Please expand the light codes. Thank you. Thank you. Please remove any dynamic and ET attachments. Thank you. Let's see what's with that. We've got some truth coming out. So this is truth be told, okay? Uh, the mask is being shown. Do not get attached to a person. Some of you have been in this separation thing for a long time. Just because an opportunity was given to a certain masculine, okay, there was an opportunity to experience the highest love. It was an opportunity to experience that twin flame union, the one creator, the masculine and feminine merged. It is an energy 
of consciousness is the energy of God creator. And that energy is an opportunity to move through those that have asked for that on their path to experience that twin flame energy. Um, this is going to cause a lot of issues for people because you're going to have to look at, well, I spent so many years pining out for this person. I've had to heal. Well, yeah, the activation that came was the, a divine union. It was the Christ consciousness, the highest consciousness. I like to say Christ because um, that's the only thing that can remove dynamic attachments, like real dynamic attachments. And um, but you can take it as it resonates for you. That's just how it's worked for me. Um and so the wisdom that wants to, God is bringing up, like, see how that door is opening and it's asking you to take the veil off and to start really looking at, it's not the person you think it is, especially if you've been in separation for a while and you, and it's that your path is hurting you. You're not meant to suffer. Suffering is from the darker energies that are siphoning you in a 3D attachment. If you're 3D attached to a certain person, to tarot readings, this is why I think I'm going to be doing tarot differently. Um, I'm also going to be starting another channel with my retreats and things like that eventually. So, um, stay tuned for that. And what's happening here, <laughs> this is really cute. We have clean it up. Okay. God's really asking you to clean up this energy. Because it's stifling. If you are suffering, you are being invaded by darker energies. If you need help to move on, come see me. I've done all of this. I can go into the darkest realms on this planet and pull your soul out of there. It's not going to be easy, but I can do it because I've been doing this for a long time. And if you go to my site, it's changed into soul retrieval because that's pretty much what I do. I, I brought someone out of a coma. Um, <laughs> The person that I thought was my twelve, the person that had an opportunity to be my twin, um, didn't want to step into that role, you know. And because that activation happened, so let's talk about cleaning it up. If you're going to clean up this energy in your three D world, you have to come to a place of learning what that activation has taught you. There was an opportunity for the two of you in that activation to fully come into a a higher state of consciousness together, to come into God creation together, masculine, feminine merge. But somebody runs, usually the masculine energy runs. And if the masculine energy runs, then they're not fully ready for that connection. Now you have to still deal with the remnants of the energies that come out from that. So let's get a little bit more. Hmm. Because you met another ancient one. You've met somebody who was part of the 144. So what I'm getting here is you're, there's many. There's 144,000 of twins, the chosen ones, okay? And because of that, you're here elevating. I mean, you can go lower down into other soulmate connections and things like that. But the 144 have an ability to pick and choose is what I'm hearing. Because you're ancient to vibrate with another person who's part of that chosen group, okay? Who are part of the 144. And if that person runs, you have to deal with the activation and the things that have fully come through, right? It's bringing up the ancient codes. Be grateful for that person. It just means that their energy system is not ready to house God, creator, force. That's okay. That's okay. They had an opportunity to be the expression of twin flame energy. They had the opportunity to reach the highest of the high. Now, will they get another opportunity if they do their work? That person that you're in separation from also is doing the work. And so if they're doing the work, it doesn't mean that you're, I mean, they could come back to you, but it doesn't have to be that person. You could definitely meet somebody else who is also part of the chosen group, who is part of the 144,000, and who's also hit a higher place of ascension and who's able to hold that creator force energy the divine union of masculine and feminine energies because it's an energy it's a state of consciousness it is not in a person it is your temple that has the ability to be able to hold this ancient union to hold these ancient codes okay so this is why i had to change a lot of things up and this is one this is like a new beginning so 
if you're suffering, you've got to heal and move through what that activation did to you so that you can move through the darkest realms. It is going to bring up a lot of dark, narcissistic, dark ass shit, things that have been um, plaguing you for eons and be grateful that that person was able to bring that out in you. Are they able to hold that vibration to come into a sacred union with you? Some may return, some may not. But realize that the twin flame union is not in a person. And if that person is not going to come towards you, then another person who's part of the 144,000 will come towards you. They will have the ability to hold that. They will have the ability to work through the energies faster. You'll have another reactivation with somebody. It will activate in a different way than it did with the first person. It may not be as powerful, but it may be definitely something to help you clean up your life, right? To get ready for a soulmate union, which is your person, and to have all of this abundance that you've been manifesting. You may have been focused on a person, but remember, anytime you try to manifest material objects, people, places, things, houses, money, you're trapped in the matrix. You're going to be trapped by darker forces because they control all of it everything. They control the money, they control your job, they control the politics, they control the healthcare system, the education system, the neighborhoods that you live in, the way that we build homes, every single thing. Every single thing is run by darker forces. And the only truth that you're going to find is in nature. And when you go to nature, you still can't attach to it, right? Even when I drank ayahuasca, I had a lot of visions about this person who had the capability of being my twin and realizing I was shown all kinds of visions and they were true for that timeline at that point. But the deeper that you heal, the deeper that you come into union with God, the deeper that you cleanse your temple, your temple is so important guys. Um, I'm going to be, you know, helping and guiding people through temple work, embodiment, you know, um, recognizing what parasite we all got parasites i'm just saying if you've never done a parasite cleanse you got worms look it up just saying um and that's going to cause issues with your mitochondria which is the energy source in your cells i wrote about that go look it on my website i blogged about it and go and recognize um exactly what twin start changing your perception about what twin flame energy is it's not a person it is the energy of god it is the gift from god it is the divine union of the sacred masculine and feminine energies that we can see fragmented on the earth between nature and the plants that grow from the soil right so god is, is creative is really asking you to clean up your vibe be open to other people be open to how you want a twin flame union attract it you can have it you, you can attract another one of the 144 who are able to open the vibration. If you're part of an ancient, the ancient team, y'all came in on this together, okay? Humans need us. They do. They're, they're not awakened. We're here to be the trailblazers, right? You have to have some type of leveraging system. If you know anything about processes and building and we're living in a 3D construct, you need to have processes even in spirituality in order to elevate okay other people now this is taming the wind and the witness pay witness to your soul here it's a 64 which is a 10 coming into an ending and a 5 5 which is another 10 10 10 if you're seeing 10 10 that is definitely a message for you so it's about taming your mind the wind is the agila is the eagle right look at the hawk there and it's taming the mind, taming the masculine, overthinking, overanalyzing aspect in your mind, right? And this is for masculine and feminine energies. I mostly work with feminines, but if you're masculine watching, it's also about your mind. We all have been conditioned to be in this. It's, it's becoming the witness of where those intrusive thoughts are coming through. If intrusive thoughts are coming in, those are darker forces. Your soul was not created in darkness. Your soul was created in the most beautiful light. And that truth, if you can hold that truth within you, you'll see the truth outside of you. If you hold that authenticity within you, you're going to be able to see that outside of you. And so bear witness to the lies of your temple. Clean it up. That demon, the demon, the darkness, the ET entities, the black magic, the, the dark ass people who are doing, trying to manifest in the material place because they want people, place, and things, right? We are meant to be minimalists. The meek shall inherit the earth. 
not the rich ass people. Now that doesn't mean that you can't have abundance. It's going to come when God gives it to you in the way that you're meant to have it. Okay. I ain't about, oh, let's like make another 10 grand this month. And then nah, 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 nah. that's very genomic. Um, I'm about getting in alignment with the creator, your highest calling, your highest path, and then having the ability to watch the unfolding of God working through you as the expression of your temple through you to bring you the resources that you acquire. It's different. It's different. And it's okay to have richness and resources, but you have to do it in the light way, in the way of surrendering to a higher power, not in the dark way of this matrix and all this new age bullshit that's telling you, oh, you can just manifest this. You can just do this little spell work and shake it up and it's going to happen. No, you're already inviting dark energies in. Again, the matrix is run by these dark things, okay? So your soulmate, your twin, is not going to be a particular person, especially if you're suffering in this journey. Mm-hmm. See through the darkness, the jaguar. Ooh, this is my uh, totem. Psychic abilities, divine feminine. You are powerful and psychic. And you have the ability to see through the darkness. It's another 10. This is coming in. We got three 10s on this table. One, one, one. Twin flame energy. Okay, what was the ancient ones? Oh, and the ancient one was a one. 11, 11. I can't make that up. There's a one. There's two fives for change. There's 10. There's a six and a four. That's another 10. Okay, so that's one, 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 11, 11. Twin flame energy. I can't make it up. When you see through the darkness and you open yourself up, letting go of the physicality, letting go of what you think, you know, and I'm telling you guys, I get it. It was hard to let that person go. It took me a long time to realize that, yes, there was an opportunity with that person, but they're not awake. They want darkness. They may be a chosen one, but that doesn't mean that I'm to be paired with that person because he cannot hold the creator's force. You need a masculine and a feminine who both in their vessels can hold that powerful force. And not everyone can do that. So if you are sitting and suffering over an individual, twin flame energy is all over this. You have to use your highest intuition. Now your intuition has to develop to be on this path. If you are on a twin flame journey, you're one of the 144, you have gifts and you don't know where to go, hit me up. I'm telling you, I can activate and change you. People my whole life don't have issues just being in my energy. Oh, they love me at first, but then I activate them. <laughs> and so... That's because I have the highest psychic guess. My visions, all of that. I just wait for things to play out, but I know. And um, they're never wrong. Of course, we jump timelines and things change and prophecies can change, but my prophecies don't really change. Um, but yeah, I, it's developing that psychic gift, especially divine feminines. You were gifted the energy to see the higher realms. So there's definitely an energy that wants to come in to show you the higher realms, okay? Um, the rainbow, right? So realize that you've been attacked. If you're being attached to 3D stuff, you're going to suffer and you're going to allow darker forces into your vessel. Plain and simple. So let's take a look at the milk and honey. Because we have milk and honey. This is what you want, isn't it? You want something divine you want to change you want new beginnings you want you know abundance and just mm, yumminess and goodness mm, right i know i do and and if you open yourself up and realize that you can meet another 144 of a thousand and that person can hold a higher energy you have already been prepared right you've already gone through massive activation if that person needs time to integrate those energies or to go slow or, you know, you will always have the lessons that you need and true love will never pass you by if it's meant for you, right? And the more that you open, right, and you're moving through your 3D world, get out there, experience your energy, see who can handle your energy, so you can actually be in a, in a sacred union with you. See how they react. See how they respond. See how they like 
you know, treat a sacred feminine. And I write a lot about that. And I help a lot of feminines not to give away their power. You know, I'm very picky about who I allow into this. They got to be pretty spiritual if I'm letting anyone in here. And um, if not, I'm like, sayonara, see you. Bye. I'm most likely meeting you. But, you know, and don't get rejected if they run. You know, I've had many men run from the energy. Many. Um, some of them are basic humans, you know, which is fine. Um, but you always learn something. You have to see where you've been rejected as a sacred feminine or as a masculine, take it as it resonates. Um, and where you've been rejected in love is not on you personally. It's because of the energy that you hold. Okay. It's because you hold something more sacred than the rest of the collective. And that's a hard piece. A lot of people that I work with have a hard, I, you know, a hard instance of coming through their ego that they could actually be this important. Like you got a God complex or you've got, no, it's because you know. And I, I help you to alleviate that. The holy, exactly. The holy mountain, seven, change. It's a holy number. Um, that is divine guidance. That is, you know, everything was created in seven days. It's, it's realizing that you're being called to the top of the mountain. Okay. For this milk and honey. And because of that, see, you will be, your path will be lit. Your path will be showing the way we have the sun and the moon into a divine union. But the thing is, it's going to be a different mountain. It's going to be a different track. It's going to be a different experience. And it's the alleviating, moving from the 3D, when you're moving up the mountain, you're moving from a very dense vibration to, you know, where the air isn't very thin, where the very air, air is, bleh, where the air is very thin. And you're going to be moving from very grounded energy, very high vibrational energy. And to move up into that ascension path is to realize that you're following your intuition, not your mind, not what you want in the 3D. The desire can be there. Your focus can be there. Your uh, prayers can be about that. You can definitely ask and claim it and say, I claim my twin flame union. I claim a divine counterpart. Bring me who that is. And keep, you have to action in your life. You have to create action and movement in your life in order to come into that. If you're stuck on a person and it's not happening and it's painful, it is not your person. That person cannot hold it. That person cannot hold that energy. And it's, you're actually inviting their demons into you, what things that they haven't healed. And do you really want that? Do you really want to go into that? Do you really want to work with their demons? Do you, you know, it, it's a lot of purging. It's a lot of darkness. And, and depending on how long you've been there, you may need a few coaching sessions. I mean, just saying, okay. I've had people that recently signed up for, you know, a whole year because I'm telling you, it takes time. You're not going to get enlightenment like that. It's embodiment in your temple. And, and if your temple is not healthy, we got to work on that too. So that's all I'm going to say. That's all I'm going to talk about today. I'm sending you so much love. Don't forget to like, subscribe. If you want to work with me, all that info is down below. Bye.